Right, I've got with me Sean Garrity, inventor extraordinaire. What's that in your hand, kid? It's called a multicopter. It's actually a Wii multicopter. The, uh, the reason it's called that is because it uses a component out of a Wii Motion Plus. That's this. It's a triple gyro. All right. The children weren't happy when I cut theirs apart I and pinched it off them, but I did pay for it. And that looks like a computer chip. That is. That's um, an Amtel chip. And there's a guy in Paris who originally developed this concept. He wrote his own code for this and made it freely available to everybody. What's so the other board? This board is an auto leveling board. It's an accelerometer. And right. These things have come down tremendously. Like in iPhones and things like that. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay, so you've got four motors. Yep. In this version, because you do do a tricopter, I believe. Tricopter, and there's an octocopter that has. Oh, everything. an octocopter. Yeah. Right. Okay. What? Well, what? Well, can you just t turn it over and show us what's underneath? Because yeah, I underneath. Think... I mean, when you're learning, it's ideal to have undercarriage on. Once yes. you've sort of cracked it and you're not smacking it into the ground all the time. Uh, it's just extra weight. So this is just a, a 3S LiPo, yeah. 1800. What's that? That's a LiPo alarm. Oh, the, the, is, that, is it flying on NICAD? And yeah, the reason second. that you have this is because you can't afford to have any one of right. these motors cutting out, otherwise it would flip. Right. So what you do is you set the speed controllers for NICAD cutoff, which is much lower than LiPo. I thought you mentioned this to me once before, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then you have a LiPo alarm to let you know when to land. Right. Now, can, can I just ask you another question? The obvious question is, you've told me that some people are building really big ones. Uh, it cannot fly away, presumably. Um, this has got an auto descent feature on it. An auto descent um, feature. Um, so, um, some of the earlier ones didn't. Some of the ones that were just based on simple gyros, I mean, if you lost link and they hadn't set the fail safe, then they could fly away, which is obviously dangerous and irresponsible. Um, this has um, an auto descent feature on it, which... Um, if it loses radio link, it will come down controlled. What about the motors then? The motors are hacker copies. Right. Um, they're a, they're um, a, approximately about 100 watts each. Um, there's, if you one thing you notice about the props, you've got pairs. Yeah. Because uh, one of the setups on a quad is that you have the props, so they all return. I didn't notice the centre. Yeah. Because if you didn't, you'd have um, an effect where it'd be wanting to go one way all the time well, because of talk. Yeah. So you've got that one going. Clockwise, that one counter. It just, it's just sorry, that one going clockwise, and these two. Can, counter. I, can I just look at the the mounts? Because the mounts look really interesting. They look like they're printed circuit board technology. Yeah, they're right. actually fiberglass. Yeah. It's been CNC machine. Turn it over so we can just a friend of mine. Okay. Yeah. Now this is a collaborative venture, isn't it? There's a guy called Alex in Paris, I believe. Well, Alex in Paris is the guy who originally did the software, made it available to everybody, um, and then also the Wii Multicopter. Um, well, it's good we to be involved, community. isn't it? It's very good of them, yes. Well, well, I don't know whether they'd be keen on us chopping the boards up, but uh, yeah. the thing is, it's cheap. It's £15. Pounds so so who's, the, who's the other chap then involved? Oh, Rob Day is Rob. Uh, my partner in crime in this. So, who, so um, do you, are you and Rob doing the, the frame kits and the PCB kits? What are you, what's going on? That was the intention. Um, we've done a lot of extensive testing. The idea is it's going to be called the Changeling. bit cheesy, but the yeah. idea about it is it's not just a quad. Within the kit, you can build it as a quad. So a quad, that's quad plus. Yes. That's quad cross. Those are two different ways of flying. Oh, I see. And then you've got the tricopter, which has the boom at the back, and then the rear motor is rotated with a servo. Okay. And the intention was to provide a basic engineering kit. The hubs are drilled, um, but the booms aren't. Uh, the booms in the kit are aluminium. The, the carbon booms are not very strong. Um, I built this one just to be silly, light and fast. Right. Um, aluminium's, light aluminium's the way to go. It's... I've cut the motor purposely at 100 foot over a grass field. Obviously, nobody around. So let it bounced and it didn't break. So people, are, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll put this on the bottom of the video when people are watching it. Mm. Um, how can they get their hands on it? Well, if they contact uh, me, um, that the the kits should be available shortly. Okay. Uh, the frame kits. Any idea how of an indication of cost or anything? About like? 50 pounds plus postage. And right. We're doing it. That's for the make, frame kit. That's just the frame. And kit. then There's no electronics. What about the electronics? Well. Hobby King are doing a new board, um, and it's about £20, including postage, and that will allow you to build a plus configuration. Okay. On top of that, you need the motors, which are about £10 each. Okay. Um, the props are about £10 for four, and uh, I use these uh, orange receivers. These are just great, you know, it's, okay. it's, it's not flying. 2.4 gig, yeah. 2.4 gig. The, um, the auto leveling sensor is about £10. Uh, but you do need soldering skills, obviously, if you're making it. The easy way to go is just to go on the Hobby King one, which is uh, their version of the KK Multicopter board. That just has three pots to tweak. Okay. And you build it in the plus. You don't need any electrical knowledge for that. Okay. Can we uh, see it fly now? Of course you can.
Obviously, as this hasn't got undercarriage on, it has to be hand-launched. If you notice, it has a feature on it where when the throttle's fully off, the motors are still spinning. And the reason for that is, is that if you stop to the motors in the air, they may not all start again at the same speed, so it could flick over to one side. Okay. And away we go. You can see once you've cracked it, it's quite stable in the hover. This is without auto leveling on. This is just fingers. And then... The one thing about them <laughs> is orientation. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't expect you to do that. That's... It's, the, it's the orientation of them that's quite difficult. Uh, you sort of just have to get used to it. Okay. Well, I won't be able to track that, can you? Because I'm, I'm shooting this on a, an iPad. So can you bring it back in and we'll... That's brilliant, isn't it? They will actually loop and roll as well, but this one's set up not in aerobatic mode at the moment. Oh, that's fantastic. Of course, a good indoor flyer too, I presume. Yeah, them. we fly them a lot indoors. In fact, actually, I stopped flying helicopters, um, and I do find that when I go back to helicopters, I struggle for about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay then, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.